Tomorrow marks one year since the deadly wildfires in Lahaina, and the path forward is becoming clearer. The governor will be in West Maui today to open another temporary housing project. Chris Latronic joins us now live in Lahaina with more. Good morning, Chris. Good morning, Sarah and Sam. Yeah, it's so far a beautiful morning here in Lahaina. Uh, but yes, it's still recovery and restoration as we continue our path forward after the d devastating Lahaina fires that happened from tomorrow, one year. Uh, from tomorrow. Now here to tell us more uh, just about the recovery and uh, documentary that's in the works. Uh, Blake as well as Maddie Schweitzer. Uh, how are you guys doing? Um, I know it's been hard for you guys because working on this documentary you almost have to relive that horrible day every day uh, as you guys edit it. How's things going with that and what are kind of the stories that are being told through it? Yeah I think you know it's a lot to handle for sure for us because we, not just August 8th, but like we're living through it every day through the documentary, living it. But I think it's so important to get the story told because this documentary isn't our documentary or our team's documentary, it's Lahaina's documentary. And when it comes to like trying to stay good and we're all here for each other, like mental health is so important right now, like this week especially, it's so heavy. Mm -hmm. So this is the time to definitely check up on people, check up on yourself. But we are making a lot of good progress on a documentary. We have a lot of solid interviews. We're not just telling the story of the fire itself. We're telling about the history before the fire, how what led up to the fire and the community efforts and really trying to shed a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel for everybody and get the truth Told. Yes, and that's beautiful. And uh, when, uh, Maddie, when do you expect uh, this documentary to be out? And um, what are your feelings on it? And uh, how is it kind of reliving that day every day? Yeah, just like Blake said, it's a, it's a lot. It's a lot to process. Um, we are very grateful for all the community members that have, you know, sent in their stories, interviews, footage, and things like that. But it's. Uh, it's scarring, and as important it is, as it is, I'm, uh, we're excited to uh, get it wrapped up, hopefully about three more months or so. Um, this is going to be a big thing. We're, we're, we have some really good connections right now, and we're just doing everything we can and putting every dollar that we have saved up to make sure that the whole world could somehow be inspired by what we went through and how the community of Lahaina is resilient mm -hmm. uh, and works together as a community when something like this happened. And continuing to work together and we're in kind of a special place uh, this Lahaina Memorial uh, they're calling it the teardrop of Lahaina with a teardrop that's actually going to be revealed a little bit later is that happening uh, sometime soon yeah I believe at like 6 30 today you know there's so many great community members doing things like this all around even across the world a lot of people have showed support and continue to show support and I think it's important to keep down that path when you can um, especially with the documentary and everything too. It's like, we're not making this documentary only for Hawaii. Like the things that happen here in Lahaina can happen anywhere, on the, anywhere in the world. And we just wanna make that very apparent to everybody. So we're doing our best to tell the story itself. Yes, uh, thank you so much for everything you guys do. You guys' stories are important and the story you guys are gonna be telling in this documentary, super important. Thank you guys the boat and much, much love to you and your families. And we're gonna be here throughout the morning here in Lahaina as we uh, reminisce uh, on the day as well as uh, look forward to all, all of the movements that's helping Lahaina move forward and uh, all of us together. We'll also more information on our website at khun2.com. Chris Atronic reporting live from Lahaina. Sending things back to you.